the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video. I'm obviously in a different location to my garden today. I have come down to the Buttery National Park and it is almost eight o'clock and I just wanted to go for a nice little morning walk to start off my day today. I've been meaning to come down here for quite a while but obviously it's just been so wet and it has been impossible because the roads have been closed and a lot of the tracks have been closed. This one thankfully is open. I'm not too sure how boggy and wet it's going to be but I have my hiking shoes on so I should be fine. I'll put the name of the walk up on the screen here. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it but I am really looking forward to seeing this part of the national park again. I used to come on walks like this so often, like pretty much, I don't know, every week or every few weeks, I'd go on a really nice long bush walk and haven't really done that down here. So I want to get back into it. And I thought today could kind of just be like a little bit of a slow living day. I'm just going to take you around on my day today. I'm having a little bit of a break from work, which I really, really need. I haven't really had a proper break in years really where I don't actually physically have to do any work so so I took last week and this week off and then I'll get back into finishing up my thesis and I am really making an effort to live a more slow and calm life being in the academic sphere and doing a PhD and everything uh, in the research world that comes along with it it really kind of raises my stress levels and is just really not good for my hormones so I need to just have a few days like this where it's a little bit slower a little bit calmer and just do some nice things for my body and one of those is definitely going for a nice bush walk so I thought I would take you along with me and I will share what this gorgeous walk looks like. I can definitely hear all the frogs are very happy at the moment. <laughs> all right, I'm going up that way, but this is where I am going to end up down at the beach and probably have some morning tea down there, I think. I feel like I'm five minutes in and already puffing. This is gonna be good for my fitness. It's gonna be good. It's so beautiful. I'm loving all of the acacias that are flowering at the moment. There's so many of them in here and it's so bright. It's like a bright yellow kind of like mass in there. The forests around here are probably some of my favorite in Australia. They're kind of like a wet sclerophyll forest depending on the kind of microclimate, sometimes dry, sometimes wet. But there's just like these big kind of eucalypt trees that really frame the landscape around me. 
they kind of look a little bit I don't know a little bit spooky in some light but they just look so powerful and strong and I really really feel grounded in forests like this I feel like it's so old and has so much history and culture around on this land it's very very special and I would highly recommend finding places like this around your native area where you can come and just kind of be a little bit more grounded which is really nice today but I need to press on because if I keep taking the camera out every like five seconds I'm never gonna finish this walk <laughs> Right, that didn't last long, so I literally just got around the corner and then pulled the camera out again. I'm standing in front of just one of the little perched lakes that are around this area. Geography, obviously, you know, I did a Bachelor of Science majoring in geography, and it was my favourite subject at school, but I love learning about different formations in the land, and things like perched lakes are really cool. They form just from old dune systems right now I'm standing on what used to be masses amounts of dunes in this area sand dunes that are all kind of aeolian dunes which is dunes that are put here by wind and most of the time a lot of water places particularly perch lakes are really sacred in aboriginal culture so I try and be really respectful and just think about my actions around these places respecting these areas by not going too close to the water not drinking the water and just taking it in from afar they're just really special and they don't seem like they like fit into the landscape but there's some really really great perch lakes around like Fraser Island and Stradbroke Island in the subtropics where they are definitely defined as sacred grounds and sacred places but I am really happy to see another one because I just love them. They're just really cool formations. windy right now but got to the area where I'm just literally walking like on the cliffs alongside the coast and this view is just amazing.
I feel like this is a very nice spot to finish off my walk, enjoy some homemade date loaf and just relax a little bit. So I'm having leftover fried rice for lunch with tofu that Scott made last night. He makes the best fried rice, don't you? And I'm going to say it now so I can keep myself accountable. I want to eat more meals at the table and not on the couch because we often do that while we watch something, while we eat or whatever. But I really think that I enjoy my food a lot more when... I eat at the table and I'm also going to make more of an effort to eat my food slower because I tend to eat food quite quickly and just appreciate it a little bit more. Scott and I are also looking at just finding some more board games to play together. We really love board games but a lot of the ones that we have are like for you know three or four players rather than two. So if you have any good ideas on two player board games please let me know because we are on the hunt for them and it's also going to help us not watch as much Netflix as we currently are and just appreciate our time together a little bit more, which I think is a really big part of slow living and stepping away from technology a little bit more, which I am trying to do right now. All right, I'm going to finish my lunch and then maybe just relax a little bit read my book then later this afternoon I am going to just do a few things out in the garden just a few nothing that is like really major projects or anything like that I might just do a little bit of weeding something that is going to help me in the future that isn't too straining physically I just want to get outside because it's such a nice day today there's just no clouds in the sky and I want to get outside and be in the sun for a little bit after this. All right, we are just taking the cats out on their afternoon little walk. They go on a supervised walk because I'm very well aware of what cats can do to the native wildlife. So we just walk around with them in the afternoon supervising what they get up to. Um, the flowers that I had inside are definitely very sad. So I'm going to compost these and look for some other flowers to pick to add to the house and I also just have like a few things I need to compost and I also want to plant the rose that I have that I've been putting off because it just hasn't been the right kind of temperature and the soil was still a little bit wet but today is the day I'm going to get my rose in the ground. supervise these little cats. Sticks are the best free entertainment.
I planted all of these jonquils this year and they're looking so stunning. I'm hoping that they'll kind of naturalize in this area along with some tulips that I see popping up and that will have blooms here every year. But I'm gonna cut some of these. They are in a windy spot as well, so they kind of tend to fall over and some of them are a little bit heavy. Generally the way to cut jonquils and daffodils is just by pulling them out like that. You get a really long stem, particularly on the first blooms. But obviously, I don't need it that long for this job. So I'm just going to pick maybe three from this area because I still want to enjoy them here. Um, probably just the ones that are fully open. And they're going to make the house smell so amazing. A little bit more wild, but it's gonna look nice in the kitchen. I felt like it was missing just something, so I added in a little bit of linaria, which I think kind of ties it all together. I'm not too sure how it goes in water, but I will see. But I think this looks really pretty. Oh, I just love flowers. So it was really nice to be outside for a little bit and get my rose planted. I have never grown roses before, so I'm excited to see how it grows, how quickly it grows. Um, but if you have any tips on growing roses, I would love to know in the comment section. I think I am going to tidy up my room a little bit because it's a disgusting mess. <laughs> uh, and I think I might put on some YouTube and just catch up on a few videos while I do that. I am then going to make some nachos for dinner and have an early night because I'm actually really, really tired after that walk. Some of the YouTubers that I have been really enjoying lately, I have been watching quite a lot of English Flowers by Michaela. She has a flower farm over in the UK and does some really beautiful uh, kind of flower farming vlogs and also lifestyle vlogs. And she just is a really cool person. So I've been really enjoying her videos and also Helky Rain. I've been loving her videos. She has some gorgeous, really, really relaxing kind of nature vlogs that she does. And she lives on a gorgeous property in France and is growing such a big garden. So I'm excited to follow along with her progress. But yeah, those are the two that I've been watching quite a lot of. I've also been watching quite a lot of Garden Answer. Laura just gives me so much inspiration and a drive to like get outside and get jobs done. So those are the three channels that I've been watching a lot of lately. So I'm going to choose one of those to watch and do some cleaning, make some dinner, and then we might play a board game or something to wrap the night up. Thank you. 